Casablanca is home to some incredible landmarks. I only had 24 hours in Casablanca, but I made my visit worthwhile. Here are my best recommendations. So we made it to Casablanca in one piece. Uh, it is 25 degrees Celsius or something like that right now. Uh, I'm sweating, but it is a beautiful, beautiful country. It feels so unnatural to have such sunshine and um, heat when it's like snowing in Germany almost, but I'm very glad to, hear, to be here and I can't wait to show you more of Morocco. My plane was a bit delayed, so I arrived after everyone else. I had a quick check-in and then we were on the road again. But how gorgeous is this breakfast spread? The gem of Casablanca is truly the Hassan II Mosque. It's the second largest functioning mosque in Africa and the seventh largest in the world. We were lucky enough to take a guided tour in the mosque just after prayer time. The setting sun truly created a spectacular experience for us and it was almost like we were living in a painting. If you're lucky enough to be able to enter the mosque, Removing your footwear is an absolute must. Book the same or a similar trip using the discount code Wander Onwards with my trusted partner, Experience Morocco. Check the description for details. For dinner, we had reservations at one of Casablanca's most iconic locations. Maybe you'll recognize the restaurant's name. Rick's Cafe was made famous by the Hollywood blockbuster Casablanca, and it certainly captures the essence of Hollywood. We are at Rick's Cafe, which is part of the uh, Casablanca. Here's what it looks like, and we're gonna have a meal now. Rick's Cafe specializes in international food, and their menu is very diverse. The portion sizes are pretty generous, so be sure to order with your head and not your stomach. My trip to Casablanca was brief but eventful. Drop any recommendations you have in the comments. Thanks for watching! If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.